Hello everyone. So here's a couple notes about working in the graveyard and kind of drawing energy from the graveyard. So you kind of have to get to know a graveyard pretty well before you before you really feel this relationship with it. But once you go to the graveyard fairly often, dozens of times, uh, you kind of develop a, a relationship with the what remains of the spirits there, uh, the life forces, which remains of the life forces, the people who had passed. Um, and it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of like an, it's un, it's an unspoken relationship, but you can strengthen the relationship by either saying a prayer every time you get out of your car, or every time you enter the graveyard, or if you're walking, you say a prayer. Um, one prayer that I found very useful in, you know, connecting with those with spirits in a graveyard, especially since they're, since a lot of them, most of them are Christian, uh, in my area. Um, the, the Hail Mary prayer, um, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, it's not intrinsic that you necessarily be Christian. So a lot of these prayers have been said for a very long time, and there's a, there's a certain connection to the dead or to the beliefs of the dead, and there's there's an energy there's an energy transfer there's an exchange from you for saying that prayer out of respect for them and an honor of them like an offering, and it being received by them because it's familiar. So that prayer in particular, it's uh, it's it's one of it's one of compassion. It doesn't well for me or how I connect to the dead and kind of how I deliver it. Um, it might not sound super compassionate in parts because you know it does sound a little bit dogmatic Christian. But you can connect to the dead through various prayers like that one or uh, the Lord's Prayer, things like that, if you're in a Christian area. So another thing that I noticed today is that I, I tend to use my legs like dousing rods. So a dousing rod is you, it's two handles. I actually have some in my car. I didn't use them today. But, uh, and there are two copper tubes, and then there's two, and they're connected with a, a middle rod, and then there's two tubes in front, or like, kind of like around the ones projecting out. And you hold, you hold the bottom handles, and they turn. If you keep them level, they will guide you to the place in the graveyard where you're being drawn to. So, genealogists also use these. Um, my friend's mother is a genealogist, and she uses them to find, um, she uses them to find graves because, the dousing rods actually actually uh, pick up and interact with uh, the metals that the body, you know, that are in the human body and that are kind of left behind when the human body is gone. It's used by genealogists. It's also used by uh, spiritual practitioners and grave workers like me to find the spot that you feel like you're supposed to be at. It, and they don't just point you to any grave. It, it's always somewhere. Sometimes it's the same one. Other times it'll point you point you somewhere completely different and then when you get there if you're holding them completely level that's how you're supposed to do it they'll just go apart like this and they'll point in both either direction and that's where you're supposed to be so I was uh you know kind of using my legs and my feel for uh death energy and the dead today uh, today as I was going through the graveyard and uh, I found kind of like a like I didn't I didn't really realize at the time but I found like a kind of indent in the ground compression and I stood there and so what I'm about to describe is hard for a lot of people to conceptualize. So I, I, I stood there and I let the wind of the graveyard. So wind in graveyards is very special to grave workers. It, um, it, it carries, it carries what remains of the life force and the consciousness of the spirits that, of the spirits of the people who had died that, that remains there. And it's just blowing around the graveyard, like in a cyclone. And, uh, it'll, it'll, it's powerful, but in a very soothing way, a lot of the time. Soothing if, if you know how to reread the energy and also the graveyard knows you because that wind itself knows you and it when it collides into you it, it just fills you with life it fills you with breath um and it's just freely given by those by those spirits um so the it always feels like i can breathe so much better in a graveyard when i feel that wind on my face it's wonderful so i found this compression and i stood there and I kind of like, I kind of gazed into my third eye and raised my head and kind of had my eyes a little bit open looking at the blue sky and, but mainly looking at my third eye. And I just, uh, a lot of the time, well, every time when I do this, uh, I, I don't always do the exact same thing or looking at my third eye, but I'll, I'll often be looking up and directing my energy kind of upward up my body. But, um, when you work with the energy long enough and the, the graveyard knows you, you can, 
you can feel the energy beneath you and then there's there's like a hand of your own energy it's it's kind of like you can reach a hand into the earth and you feel grounded in it and then the energy of the graveyard can just go into you and if these are friendly spirits the energy is just uh it's like a it's like a big hug it's like it's welcoming and it just fills you with life um in a way that's honestly indescribable um it's uh it's it's it feels like you're it feels like you're you're being given the waters of life from the earth itself in combination with the grateful human spirits that remain there and it just fills you um sometimes i like to visit graveyards you know i might get out and say a prayer and then i'll i'll try to use my legs as dousing rods and i'll find a place and i'll just i'll find it and it'll just feel right and i might smoke a cigarette while and i might listen to music while i'm standing there to kind of aid the process and really feel at one with, you know, the beings in the moment. It has to be a particular, uh, it has to be a song that really hits that note. Um, but if the song hits the note, I mean, well, I can do it without the song, but sometimes it's perfect when a song hits, hits the right vibe, your body hits the right vibe, you find the right place that has the right vibration that you're supposed to be. And everything just hits like a perfect, like a perfect singing bowl. No, it's just it's everything comes together and it just resonates with you and you just feel that energy going into you running throughout your body and it's it's a feeling like no other um but i, I don't just do it for the feeling i i go, honestly it's a it's a healing uh, I, I go there to heal i go there to honestly it feels like they're taking away the uh the you know the regular human everyday suffering that we go through they're just taking it off our hands um you have to kind of familiarize yourself with the graveyard, the spirits, and the energy, and how to work with energy in order to feel this. But it's uh, it's remarkable, and um, it's it's something that you know I wouldn't trade for anything else. It's I I think I as the graveyard is one of the best is is the is one of the places that I feel the best. Uh, strangely enough, but it's it's because I I know these. I know the graveyards that I go to. I've been working in them for a long time, and it's like uh, being hugged by a bunch of friends and being filled with uh, confidence, energy, and life force. It's just a wonderful feeling. Anyway, I thought I'd just share some thoughts on uh, my, you know, working in graveyards, and I don't think some of these thoughts I haven't said before. Um, some of them I've touched on before. But I hope you all found this interesting. Uh, feel free to hit that like button down there. It really helps out the channel. And uh, if you want to support my work and uh, the rituals and my graveyard work that I do, Feel free to become a patron on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash darkrealist, capital D, capital R. Become a patron on there, support my work, support my work with the dead as well, and uh, just show that you care. At any rate, I hope this was useful, I hope this was interesting, and most importantly, I hope all of you have a wonderful day.